Good afternoon, everybody. It's Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. It looks like a lot has happened. I expected this uh, cyclone formation to become Wilford, and actually this became uh, tropical, tropical Storm Wilford today. And then uh, Alpha, we went into the Greek alphabet. Alpha is headed towards Portugal over there. Nope, can't get it. And then we have actually Beta. This has become Tropical Storm Beta. It's predicted to be a hurricane. It has 40 miles an hour. It is at 1,004 millibars. It is moving north northeast at 9 miles an hour. Now, this is a Tropical Storm Force Wind Probabilities. It shows that uh, north, I mean, sorry, southeast Texas will be getting 30 to 40 percent chance of Tropical Storm Force Winds. As well as the track and intensity, uh, NOAA has it as 1 a.m. on Monday becoming a hurricane as it goes towards landfall. And then when it makes a northern uh, turn, it's going to go back down to a tropical storm. So I brought a few factors in for you. I'm showing you the GFS. I'm going to show you the Euro. And I'm actually going to bring the NAM in on this one. Uh, I'm showing that for the track, NOAA is following Euro. For intensity, uh, NOAA is following GFS. S. Uh, I'm showing it even looking at the, the name because they don't know it quite what it do because NAM showing even worse. Now this is GFS model. This is at the six hour and I'm going to go ahead and click it for you and let you see exactly what happens with it every six hours as it moves up towards Texas. You can see the middle of bars dropping. It's all the way down to 9, 988 and that is on Monday the 21st. This is at the 66 hour. I think it's 987, and that's that's the strongest that it shows. But then it starts making a northern track uh, through Texas after it hovers for about 24 hours uh, before actually moving. 36 hours now. It's going to it's showing a stall for 36 to 48 hours on the GFS. And then it makes a north northeast track towards Louisiana, and it goes up through the north of the state. So I'm showing a 36-hour stall from the GFS. And the strongest winds I'm showing is on the 138-hour mark. This is on the 24th on Thursday. I have 68-knot winds. That's what I'm showing so far, 68-knot winds. I turn out to miles per hour, you divide it by 6 and add it to it. That would be 11. The 79 miles per hour Cat 1 hurricane. This one's the NAM. I want to show you the Euro first. Now, this is a Euro model. Now, as I take you through the Euro, and you can see exactly what's going on with it, the high resolution. You can see that it's not as intense as the GFS or the NAM shows. Uh, matter of fact, it's, I can't, it don't even show that it gets to hurricane strength using the Euro model. It shows that it only goes to a tropical storm, and then that is it. Also, the the 48 hour stall that GFS showed. Euro is only showing it as maybe a 6 to 12 hour stall, if that. So Euro is really not showing a whole bunch of information. 30 knot winds. Guys, the Euro is showing that this thing is going to be weak. The GFS is what's showing that it's going to be strong. Now, as we look at the NAM 3K, we can just have a little bit of information of everything that is out there so we can have everything on the table that we, that we know of. As it moves through, and NAM does go every three hours. They don't do six hours. They only go three hours. So the full run of the NAM is going to be just a 60-hour run. That's as far as I can get on this. I get further on my WSV3, though. And then you see it head straight for southern Texas. And if you look, you'll see that all those rain bands are going to come in with severe weather and severe storms. And this is going to spread all across the state. So please be aware of that. Get down to 982, and the strongest winds is somewhere around 50 to 52 knots. There's 55. That's 64 miles an hour, guys. It's not even a hurricane yet. It's strong, it's powerful, but it's not a hurricane. The hurricane was shown, again, by the, by the, the GFS. The Euro is not showing a hurricane. This right here is a GFS run. I'll put it on 10 meters. I did put it fast so we can go through this. But I'll put it on 10 meters sustained winds. And you can see when it comes in, 
If it only gets all up to the 50s and 60s, just like the, the Euro is showing. Then it makes a northern track, just like the Euro showed, towards Louisiana. And the strongest that we have uh, from this, let me stop it right before. It does uh, get pretty strong, but not super strong. I show 68, 69 miles an hour the whole time. I don't show uh, hurricane force winds before it hits. Now, it's still days away. We still get more information. But that's just what I'm showing from the GFS. Now, if we take the NAM 3K, I already got it loaded, so it shouldn't take long. But we can only see 60 hours. But I do show that the strength that's coming from the NAM 3K is stronger out of all of them. So I don't know if the strength on NAM 3K is correct, but the, maybe the, the model data is incorrect as far as who's, where is it going to go and how much intensity it's going to do. But the NAM 3K does show a lot, lot more powerful. So here's a run on the NAM 3K. You can see as it turns, it starts getting green. And right there with all the yellow, that's all hurricane force strength that's in the 90s. When you get to the green, we're going to be in the hundreds. I will show you. Then right before landfall, 105, 106, 106.8 miles an hour winds on the NAM 3K. That's right below Corpus Christi. That's kind of where Hannah went and then it made a, a southern uh, push. But that's what I'm getting from the NAM 3K for what's going to happen with this with this tropical storm slash hurricane so which model is correct we don't know yet uh looks like obviously noah is using euro as far as the model data for track but it's definitely using gfs and a little bit of the nam uh for intensity because the euro didn't show a hurricane and they're saying that it's going to be a hurricane now, let me go back to the exact date when they did say that so we know exactly uh, what is expected from NOAA. And when we go to the beta, we go to the track and track uh, predict predictability. And it's saying that it will be a hurricane come 1 a.m. on Monday. And that information was not shown on uh, Euro. That information was only shown on GFS as well as, as uh, NAM. So whether NAM and GFS is correct on this one, we don't know. This picture is coming by Antoinette. Uh, her name is follow me uh, on youtube there's some pictures she sent in from right where she's at to show how her sky is over there and what's going on in her area so if you do have video or pictures you want me to share please send it to the weather channel live at gmail.com and i will find everything that you send me there that's my email it's always been my email i just never turned it off that was my email ever since donation kingdom now today I want to read to you because every morning I read the Bible in order from front all the way to the end. That way people can follow along and we can read the whole Bible together. But today I want to bring to you a little something different. I have many markers in my book of things I want to tell you, but I can't tell them all in one video. But this one, this one I can read to you now. This is the last of the book. This is Revelation 22. And he shewed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manner of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse but the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him, and they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. And there shall be no night there, and they need no candle, neither light of the sun, for the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever and ever. And he said unto me, These sayings are faithful and true. And the Lord God of the holy prophets sent his angel to shew unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keepeth the sayings of the prophecy of this book. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. 
And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which shewed me these things. Then saith he unto me, See thou do it not, for I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren of prophets, and of them which keep the sayings of this book. Worship God. And he saith unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book, for the time is at hand. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. And behold, I come quickly, and my reward is with me, to give every man according to his work as his work shall be. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without, for without are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie. I, Jesus, have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. And the spirit and the, the bride say, Come, and let him that heareth say, Come, and let him that is ariseth, that, that is a thirst, come. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book, If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. He which testifieth these things saith, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so come, Lord Jesus. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. God bless you all. I hope you all have a great night tonight. I don't know what to really expect from you, Storm, if you're using so many models to figure this one out. That's, that's kind of different. But I hope you all have a great night. And if you want to send me some pictures and videos, please send them and we'll show them to everybody. All glory goes to God.